Hello. We're going to take a look at how to construct a parallelogram um, using the property of a parallelogram that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with not the sides of the parallelogram but the diagonals. So I'm just going to take and draw two lines that intersect each other. Uh, this will determine how skinny or the height of the parallelogram. These would be the diagonals. So what I'm going to do is first uh, set my compass to, I don't know, yay big and take the center of the compass and stab it in at the intersection of the diagonals and I'm going to make a mark over here and I'm going to make that exact same distance on the other side of that diagonal. Then I'm going to change my compass. I'll make this one longer so that that'll be the longer diagonal and I'll make another mark each on each side of the center point and now what I've just done is I've just created the vertices of the parallelogram so to construct the remaining part of the parallelogram or actually the whole parallelogram I'm going to draw in the sides. Now of course there's other ways to construct a parallelogram by doing a parallel lines construction but there's a lot more steps involved and a lot more opportunity for error than this particular construction. So you can see I have my parallelogram now and I can check it with this property that the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. We have this segment being congruent to this segment. I'll mark that. This is congruent to this. And if I set my compass back to this length here, you can see that this distance is equal to this distance. This point being the midpoint of both of these segments, making them bisect each other. So here, these two sides would be parallel to each other and these two sides would be parallel to each other, as well as congruent in any other special properties that parallelograms have.